we'll just dive right in. So again, thank you all for um, being here. Today we're going to talk about stream again. And then um, it, yesterday, if you if you recall, uh, Terry talked to us about um, importing a video into stream and then adding like a low stakes assessment with forms. What I'm going to do today is, is similar, uh, and I won't go through all the same. I won't go through the steps again, you know, um, since most of you were probably here yesterday. But um, the the change, the difference is, is that I'm going to do a screen capture in stream. So, and then the rest is kind of the same, but I'll still walk through that too. So, screen record, record my screen. What you might do with a PowerPoint. Um, it's kind of, it would be like a narrated PowerPoint, but you're making a, a recording of that. You, and th there's other, it doesn't have to be a PowerPoint either, but it's just capturing whatever's on your screen, videotaping it, and then adding the audio. So I will share my screen, get us rolling. And here we are. So screen, screen capture and stream. And we did talk about a few other, other, on Wednesday, we talked about other screen capturing um, options that we have. And one is Zoom, which, you know, you can just record a meeting of just you and, and do the very same thing that, that we're doing here. And then the other one is Camtasia, which is a little, it's a little, it's that editing tool that I talked about a couple days ago. And it also does screen record. It'll record your screen. Uh, but it's probably the hassle factor again is just going to be a little bit higher than um, um, uh, Zoom and Stream. So the three things that I, I, I will, will work through today are we'll create a group to share because we have to share a video with a group. We'll create and publish a screen capture recording and then we'll add that low stakes assessment to, to the Stream video. And, and, the assessment that I'm adding today is really low stakes. It's really more about information gathering for me based on the um, recording that I did. So the first thing that we do is we have to access stream and, and, and we begin where all our journeys begin in Cardinal Apps. And we, to get to stream, we have to go to 365. And again, this is your ribbon of Outlook or uh, Office 365 apps. And um, so if you don't have stream, you know that you can go to all apps right here and um, you, you can, you'll, you'll be able to find stream then. When you go to all apps, it really lists all the Microsoft apps in alphabetical order. This is the apps that you, that you use the most. So these are the apps that I use the most. So we're going to click on stream. I'm, going to, I'm just going to walk you through it with uh, screenshots and then we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Now, here's the dirty little secret. The in stream, the permissions are super, kind of super tight. Um, so what, what really happens is if you're, going to, if you're going to share a video, you do have to say exactly who um, you want to share with. So it's either going to be a group, you're going to create a group, and these are Microsoft groups, um, so it, you probably already belong to some group, um, and they're, they'll already be populated in there for you. But what won't be populated are your courses, your, 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 probably the people that you really want to share a video with are your students. So we do have to create that group, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But the good news also is, <laughs> because it's, it's not that labor intensive, but it's probably a step that we could skip if we were able to. So I thought, you know, we should be able to skip this step. So I, I, I put in a call to our Microsoft guy, who his name is Izzy. And I said, could we just create groups in, it's called Active Directory, but they would be Microsoft groups from Banner. Couldn't we feed the Banner, the courses and the students into uh, Microsoft Active Directory, so that so that if I'm teaching a course, when I get here, all I have to do is type in that course name, and the group is already populated with all the students. And he said to me, "Sure, of course we can." So I said, "Oh, well, okay, let's get cracking." No, he's such a good guy. And in fact, he called me about five minutes ago, and I said, "Listen, 
I am going, I'm getting on this um, Zoom, and I want to make sure that this is going to happen. I say, yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. So, so, so I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll keep you posted. What's happening right now? What I'm going to show you right now is how you would create a group, but but it's my hope, and I don't know if I can we can get it done because it is a our it's our um, tech people working with the banner people, you know, our Microsoft people, you know, around the basement, but, um, you know, so they have to, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an integration, but, but he, he said, no, no, it'll be fine. I'm like, okay. So I, I said, I'm going to tell them and I'm going to tell everybody that Izzy told me that. And so he said, yeah, go ahead. So, so <laughs> probably the next time we talk, um, you won't have to do this part. But this is a part you have to do right now and until they get your courses, your banner courses um, into Microsoft. And what that would mean as well is you could email uh, your course, students in your courses, there would be a, they would be an actual Microsoft group and you could just, you know, find them. So, but, but, but before that happens, um, what you have to do is go into stream and you click on create and you have to create the group. So, it, so the only people who can see your video are the people that you give permission to. And I can give, uh, we wanna create groups cause we're gonna, we'll just pretend that um, this is a course that we um, want to share this video with. So, so what you do then is you, I'll go back here for one second. So you go to create, drop down, click on groups. Then this screen pops up that so you're creating a group and I'm going to create a group in a minute. Um, it's, it's one of Terry's classes, and he made me an instructor in it. And it's called Business Information Processing. So the first thing you have to do is you have to name your group. And then you have to decide, is it going to be private or public? And I say my group is private. I just want it for my business information processing students. And then I go here, and I'll do that in one minute when I hop into um, stream. And I'll show you how we add those group members until Izzy fixes this up. And then over here, you're going to want to, un and I, I apologize for not doing that. You, you, wanna, you want to uncheck that because you want it to be view only. So make sure that this is off because otherwise um, it, it grants ownership to the video. So you can see right now that I'm the only person in this group right now. I actually didn't create it yet, though. This is when I was pretending to. And I would add the students or whomever I want to be in the group. And then I click create and then I have the group. Uh, Question? So, so how I do, this is how, this is how, like, th this is how I would do it. I would open up my um, banner course or Blackboard course. And I would go on the left-hand navigation. I would go to users and groups and then go to users. Once you go to the user screen, it, it shows all the emails. So I would open that, and then I would open up stream and, and have them side by side. And I would, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm, I'm gonna actually do that right now. So, yeah. okay. And I, I'm getting them ready and then I'll do a new share for you. Okay, so, so what I did here is I just went to Blackboard and I, I went to that area that said users and, and uh, groups and then went to users. And there's my email and, and the class I co-teach with Terry, theoretically. And then I went to stream and I went to uh, that drop down create and then group. So my group here is gonna be called, I forget what it's called really. Uh, What's it called, Terry? I've got it written down. Business Information Processing is the name of my course. Okay, and I could put a description in. I want to make sure I click that off because this is a private group, again, because I, 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 I'm the owner, I want no one else to have rights, unless I have it, you know, a Terry, if I gave it to Terry. So then this is how I'm gonna add the students until Izzy gets us fixed up. I would, I'm, gonna, I'm going to add this person first, and I just go here and start typing her email address. 
and then I click enter. I'm not going to click the whole thing. I'll let, so that was that one. And then I go to candy right here. I just give it, I give it enough for Microsoft to find it. There's candy. I'm going to go to Antonio. Kathleen. Yep. I did this yesterday and okay. it, wouldn't take, it wouldn't take the email address. What I had to use was the username and then it found the person. Okay. But it wouldn't locate it using the, the You're using the whole so you just you just use the username. Okay, that's good information. Mm -hmm. And and I have no intention of typing it, the whole thing. So mm -hmm. I would not have known. So that's good information. Oh so no, I, I copying and pasting and it Okay, worked. okay. Yeah. So so uh, what I'm doing here is just typing enough for Microsoft to make to for it to be unique for Microsoft to probably find it. Now there that one's not unique enough. <laughs> and I don't want to scroll through all of them. So I just want to find, this is my guy. And then my last student is S-A-T-C-H. And that's this person. And then I, I, I do have now, I do have a group email for this group. This is what it is, business information processing. I've done everything. Nobody else is an owner. And I can just create my group called business information processing. So again, again, for anybody, uh, if I ever if I have videos that I want the, only that course to see, then I will when I upload that video into stream, I will share it just with that group. I won't go in and share it person by person. So any questions there about how you can create a group fairly quickly before Izzy sets us up? Because here's what's going to happen when Izzy uh, we go to create, we'll create a group. No, we won't even have to create groups. Never mind. I'll show you later what will happen when Izzy um, that when Izzy sh creates our groups, all we have to do when we go to the video and we share it and we type in business information processing, that group comes up and just share it with the group. So, any, any questions about that? That's how you create a group. And now I'm going to show you how to screen capture, and then we'll share it with that that same group. So just. So that was finding our email, um, student email, and then creating the group with those student emails. And thanks, um, Gail, for just, you don't need the entire email address, just the, um, and I think, I think like Michael told us yesterday, part of the reason it, I couldn't take this email address from the student is because it's not a valid email address. I actually, it's sort of an alias. Because the real email address that's going to be recognized over here is going to say at student.uiwtx.edu. But for some reason, both Banner and Blackboard pull that student out. So you can't copy this address and put it here. Um, then I received a message that um, the group had been made. From, oh, you, really? Yeah, I received a message on my email that I was part of that group. So you created it. Yes, I created. You, you just couldn't add anybody to it. Well, you, we had to add it with without the um, the at part piece, correct? Mm -hmm. right, right. Okay. So that's how we create a group. In a minute, we'll share something with it with that group. But the next thing we need to do is record and um, create a screen capture and and publish it. So we're back at stream. Right. Right. In the same area, we're going to go to create. We, we're at group, but now we're going to record screen. Okay, when you get to record screen, much like Zoom, you're going to want to um, check your mic, check your camera right here, check your audio. This, this is the little screen that pops up. It's very, you know, user friendly. There's only a couple things you can do. And, and then you hit record. The thing about record, it's misleading because it really, you don't really record right away. There's a couple screens before you actually record. So, so when you hit that record button, you have to make a decision. And your decision is, am I going to share my entire screen? Am I going to share an application? Or am I going to share a Chrome 
well, uh, an internet uh, browser tab. So it can, it can be done in, in, in anyway. I actually, for our purposes, I chose application window. So if you go in and kind of um, play around a little bit, you, you can see the difference differences. When you do your entire screen, you'll actually be in the corner right here. Uh, if, you're, if you choose application window, which I am going to choose because I'm doing a PowerPoint and I don't really need, I don't really need to be present with my face. So, so I, I'm, I'm choosing application window. So there we go. And then much like sharing a screen in Zoom, when you choose that application window, all your applications pop up. Let me see what I had open. Yeah, they're all there. So I chose this. This is this is actually this is a teaser too because Susan's going to be presenting this next week. It's not to be missed. That's what I say. So what what we do is I'm I want to I'm going to present this and, and let's say I'm presenting. I'm going to share it with that business processing class. They don't really care, but, but that's who I'm going to share it with. So uh, this, is, this is the application I'm going to, going to use. So I, I choose it, and you can see I've selected it because it has the blue around it. I've already selected it. Once I selected it, then I can go to share, which is right over here in the uh, bottom right-hand corner. Now, it's called share, but it's really also record. So this is, this is me. I'm going to record that uh, PowerPoint. So once I choose it, it really, the recording does start. It gives you like three beeps and then you begin. So you work your way through the PowerPoint just like you normally would. You know, I, I would, and I'll show you how I did it, but um, you know, I would just go to from beginning, start, and it's just like you're narrating your PowerPoint. And you go through. When you're done, you, you click this stop sharing button, which really is recording, but they call it sharing. So, so and then when you're done with that, once you click on stop sharing, what you have to do is you have to close your application window. In this case, um, it's PowerPoint. So I close PowerPoint. And once I close PowerPoint, it actually takes me back to stream. So I closed my PowerPoint application, and this, this it just took me back to stream, and this is my recording. So, and then you can see stream, this is stream in the background, but, but, so it took me back to my recording. This is the preview or review piece. So it's ready to go, but I haven't published it to stream yet because, you know, maybe I, I don't like it. Maybe I, I, I want to take a look at it first. You can see this one's only 12 seconds, but um, so I can play it. And if, if I decide that I want to record again, I can just record again. But if I think, you know what, it's fine, then I'll upload it to stream. Once I upload it to stream, I can trim it a little bit. Like I can trim the beginning, I can trim the end, little, little minor editing. So, are there any questions so far? Okay, so that's, that's just how easy it is. You just push that button and, uh, and then you go and start recording that little sort of pinkish button at the very beginning. Okay, so we're going to practice. And what's, I can't really do an actual recording because my mic and camera are being used by Zoom right now. So that's the hard part. So I can get us so far, but I, uh, I, I don't have the capability to actually screen record because my camera and um, mic are being used by Zoom. So again, we begin our journey with Cardinal Apps and Office 365. This is me getting ready to record. And then stream. And again, create. And again, we can see where we did the group, but we're going down to record screen. And this is it. So um, you can see up here, I have this little notification that Microsoft wants to use my microphone and my camera, but I really can't do that because then I'll lose 
I'll, I'll have to be kicked off Zoom or you won't be able to hear or see me. So that's, that's the issue here. But um, I'm just gonna close that. And then I click, re well, first I, I would check and, and see it's disabled because it's being used by Zoom. But, but normally you're not gonna be Zooming while you're making a screen recording, so you'll be fine. So then you click record, let's see if we can do it. Uh, pick an application. Mm. What do I have? I'm looking. Um, well, we will just go to, let just see if that, let's do this. So it gives me three beeps and then it, um, it will, uh, it's recording, it's recording my screen. But I need to go to my application that I had that I had open that I wanted it to, which is this. And take a look at it. Let me close that up for a second. I actually didn't think it was going to let me record. So. Um, but but so right now I'm recording I'm recording my whole screen so I can I can go here and scroll back and just and just kind of let's just pretend I'm you know recording my screen and I would talk about like I would talk about the apps I would talk about Microsoft Stream I would talk about Cardinal apps and then I would go back to Stream and I. And then I can review my recording, which is just me. Well, you, you know what, I, I, will, I will tell you this. So when I chose the application, I did choose what I thought was a Word document, but my eyes aren't very good. So really what I had chosen apparently was my calendar. So I'm sorry. So I, um, I recorded my calendar right here. And um, so, so this is the, this is the recording and, and there isn't any audio because my, um, my microphone is being used by, by Zoom. But let's just say I wanna upload this to stream, I'm ready to go. I can record it again or I can think, no, 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 I'm fine. Then I upload it to stream and I, I put in mistake. I, and I, when I'm uploading to stream, I always want to make sure I put the language in the language that, that I, that was spoken because that's where I get my screen. That's where I get my closed captions. Um, I don't want everyone in my company to see this video. And, um, and this piece tells me right here that I can edit more of the details once this um, video is published. So then I would hit publish. And this is so short, it won't take that long to process. Okay. But while we're waiting, are there any questions? What, uh, what function, uh, uh is a, a good one to use this this uh, method for? Um, so I guess I would use it um, if you weren't going to do a narrated PowerPoint. Uh, some if you if you wanted to do a PowerPoint, but, but maybe not a narrated PowerPoint. I think you, I think you could use this. You could have your PowerPoint, and and actually I'll show you in a minute the video that I the, the video that I did. Um, earlier. So I would, I would use it for that. Anytime, any, any, really anything else um, that you want to demonstrate, but using your computer screen. Yeah, I, I would go with Kathy on that. If you, uh, you just want to give someone a very quick demonstration of something, how something would work, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Or how to, you know, how to 
say, look at their grades in the grade center. Okay, then you just kind of walk them through that process. It's very quick. Okay. And you could do so it like again. That. Keep the video fairly short. Mm -hmm. Five minutes or less. Yeah. I think the oh, time is so, 15, isn't it, Kathy? Yes. So, and that's it, that's just like, it can be how to's. I, I would actually probably do it in lieu of a narrated PowerPoint. I would probably actually just do my PowerPoint here. And, um, but so it's just an option. That's all it is. But the, okay. the nice thing, yeah, the nice thing about it too is the closed caption piece. So, so if we go to um, the details here, I, I actually want to, this is my video, um, but I actually, earlier created a different video that I want to, um, that I want to really talk about. But, but here's where I could add again, like Terry did yesterday, I could add the, um, the, the form and we're going to do that in a minute with another video. Um, well, I could see, I could see doing something like this. For example, I, I get first year students, they don't know how to write a paragraph. Sure. Okay. So I'd go through the steps of writing a paragraph and then be, and it, it would be recorded. So the student would have it sure. you know, beyond our meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, you would all, I, I can also see it something like just a short video at the beginning of the, uh, of the semester to talk about Blackboard. And you could just, you could pull up Blackboard and you could just walk through where to find, this is what, this is what. Oh, good, good this idea. This is how it's arranged. This is where you're gonna find my contact information, you know, it's arranged in modules or folders, however. It's those little short demo videos that, that okay, you, could, you could do. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Oh, sure. So I'm going to go over here to my, all my videos. And I think we talked about this last, or a couple days ago, maybe Terry did too. If you ever want to edit a video, you, you have to go to, your, um, to all your videos, and then you click on the edit. That's where you get the edit button. But really, since I was talking about that academic integrity um, PowerPoint, th that's actually what I did record. So this is the recording of that. I, I recorded it earlier because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to record within a within a. Uh, I just went through all the steps to uh, record my. So that's really um, what I, what I, I I walked through this one and I and I talked a little bit about. Well, let's just listen to it. It's only a minute. I just went through all the steps to uh, record my PowerPoint. And those steps, again, were going to Cardinal Apps, going to Office 365, selecting Stream, then selecting Create, then selecting Record Screen. Once I got to Record Screen, I had to press that little button, and I chose Application Window, just like we did in the presentation. So now I'm at my PowerPoint, and I'm recording. So what I what I need to do first to begin my show is to start from the beginning. So I'll go ahead and, and go into slideshow mode. And I would begin my presentation for <laughs> academic integrity in the online environment. Uh, this is something actually that's a PowerPoint that we put together, Susan and I put together for the deans and presented that a couple of weeks ago. But it's also something that we're going to pre present or Susan will present next week um, as part of our teaching and learning workshop. So you'll, I'm not going to give you the way. So you don't want to tune in. But I'll just proceed through the slides so you can see, you know, what we might, uh, what I might talk about if I were doing this presentation and, and, and for students, let's say, students who were um, um, education students. So we work our way through the PowerPoint. Like you would with it. Okay. Oh, and so this is where I put in my, this is where I put in my um, form, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but here's my form. So, and this, this, in this PowerPoint, what we're really talking about is, uh, are, are the challenges with academic integrity in the online environment, and uh, there's some, we offer some solutions, but what I would wonder uh, when I'm showing this PowerPoint is, um, I would want some feedback and maybe I would want some feedback from everyone. So what I did was I created a Microsoft form and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. Well, I'll, I'll show you. We won't go through creating the form because that is another workshop. But this is the form and really this is what I want to know from them. I want to know after you listen to this presentation, three new ideas that you gleaned from the presentation, two questions or concerns that you still have about administering assessments online, and then one assessment strategy that you will use this semester. 
And so those are just, for me, you know, it's just a low stakes, just not even really an assessment, but it's just really um, dipping your toe in the water and seeing um, what, what people are thinking and where they're at and what the challenges still are. So I put that in at 127. You can see that right here. And then I continue with the right PowerPoint. Then you go to the bottom and you're done. And you click stop. And, and so generally, I, I just went through. I probably would have put that at the very, very end. So, but so, so this is one I recorded earlier. I, I used the steps that we talked about in the presentation. Um, but right now, I want to share it. It's too good to just keep. And, 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 and so, I'm going to do one thing quick. Not there. I'm going to go back to my content. So I clicked on edit, I went back to all my videos and I clicked on edit. And this is where you get, again, all the, all the details about your video. So I wanna make sure again on this one that it's English so that I can do closed captions. The title's fine, I, I'm not gonna put a descriptor in. I do wanna share it with people, but I wanna share it with groups. So the group I want to share it with is that group I created. So it's called business. Yeah, so this, this is that group I just created. So everybody that I put in that group now can see that video. Okay. Uh, comments, no, I don't care to have comments. Um, auto generate a caption file, of course, I do want that because then I'll have subtitle, I'll have transcript. And once I click share, then poor Candy and Antonio Jr. will um, have access to this video and God bless them. But uh, so once I click share, then, it, then it's become shared with, um, with that whole group. And that's how you share until we are able to um, do the banner Microsoft integration. And I'll click apply. And now, now that, now, if I put that link, if I embed that link like Terry showed us, if I put it in Blackboard and I put it in my business processes, processing class, those students will be able to access it. If I, if I sent the link to Gail, she wouldn't be able to access it because um, she's not, I, I didn't give her permission for this video. So it's pretty locked down. Again, the other thing you can do is you can make it wide open and then, you know, that's fine. And anybody can see it. So questions about that? I have a question. Sure. If you record, so I recorded this today, this afternoon, um, sure. a um, snippet in Zoom, and so then I uploaded it into Stream. Sure. Uh, but under the transcript page, it doesn't. I do have the transcript though from Zoom the, that they created. Will Stream because it says right now that. Uh, the audio, the same thing that's shown on your screen, the audio transcripts aren't quite ready yet. Oh, yeah. Check back soon. It takes a minute. It takes some time to okay. refresh. Yeah. And it, it depends on how long, you know, I can refresh my page. But this one shouldn't take that long because so it's not very long. But it does take a minute, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So where I would, um, we're going to slip back to the PowerPoint quick. So this is this now. Uh, it's time for me to add my form. You can see I already did it, but um, but I, I created the form ahead of time. I I, um, I I I'll show you where that where it's at. But I did it ahead of time, and I'm just gonna grab the link from the form and put it in stream. So again, we are we already know that drill. You go to Cardinal Apps, and then you go to Office 365, and then you go to uh, Forms. When you get to Forms. Um, it will show you all your forms that, that you have. Your most recent ones, the most recent ones that you worked on. So those are the three most recent forms that I worked on. And the one that I'm looking for is the one that the arrow is pointing at. So, um, so what, what I, I, I clicked on it and it opened up my form down here. And then what I, what I have to do is just go over to share and I'll get a link. So we're gonna just look at that right now. We'll go to 
forms quick and I'll show you where that's at. Okay. So if I go back to, I'm just gonna not start a Cardinal apps. I'll hop right into um, forms. So it's forms, and this is the form right here. So I click on it, and that's my form. And she, Terry told you how you can look at responses and, and download them, and that's all that kind of thing. So what, I, what I'm just going to show you again is how do you get that link to that form. So you go to share up in the, up in the left hand corner, right hand corner, and then um, you click copy, and this is the link to access for responses. Um, and I, I you can, you can actually, uh, you have a couple options, like anyone with a link can respond. Again, that will be anonymous or only people in my organization can respond. I chose that one just because I do want to know who's responding to my, um, so if I go back then to stream, I have my link already, but you can already see, I actually put it in there, but I would add a form. And I would paste the URL here, which is the one, the one I copied. And I can name the form. It's the same form, actually. So I'll call it the same form. It just shows you how I put it in there. And then I, I tell it what time, what, where on the timeline do I want it to appear. So I'll, I drag the, I, I, I drag the little um, cursor here. And you can see as I drag it, the position in the timeline changes as well. So now I'm at 27 and, and the position here is 27. So you can decide where you want to put it and then I add it to the timeline. But I already have it in there. So that, that's how, that's an easy way. Oh, I don't want to call it the Dame form. Okay. And that's an easy way to do it. So you just, I add it to my timeline. It will pop in there. You can see that little the same form and then over here, academic integrity. So, so that is how you add that, that uh, Microsoft form to uh, uh, stream video. And, and really uh, that's what Terry showed us yesterday. So any questions on that? Okay. This is just like, this is just like school. If we see it more than once, it's gonna be on the quiz. <laughs> So we'll go back to our PowerPoint. I, I did want to say, and this is, um, uh, um, we'll make this available. There are some really great help um, documents. Terry creates a ton for us. And then Microsoft does a really nice job as well. So I've included some of those in, in, the, um, in the PowerPoint. Let's kind of go through. And that's, we did that. And now it's time for questions.